Secondly, we have to understand the dominance of selfishness, the dominance of selfishness. The fascination with living for pleasure uh, and, and the dominance of selfishness. Has there ever been a society as self-centered as this? Has there ever been a society this egotistical, this consumed with its own agenda? Pride and self is elevated and exalted. It has been for years and years and years. Psychologists have created this thing called self-esteem. That is a satanic idea. You're not as important as you think you are. You're far less important than you think you are, and so am I. So are all of us. You're not better than you think you are. You're worse than you think you are. You are far worse than you think you are, and so am I. In God's eyes, you are inconceivably sinful. In your own eyes, you're something wonderful. Has there ever been such an egotistical culture? You know, I look back at some markers. I remember watching a football game in television many years ago, and I saw the first time a football was spiked in the end zone. Look at me. That was never done. I played football in high school and college. When I went into the end zone to score a touchdown, I dropped the football and went back and thanked my teammates. Then it became, look at me, draw attention to me. I remember when Muhammad Ali said, I am the greatest. He didn't leave a legacy of boxing in the world. He left a legacy of ego in the world. That's like a byword for the culture. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest what? Why? He took a whole generation and moved them into the psychology of self-esteem. God hates pride. He hates haughty eyes. It destroys love. It destroys relationships, all of them. What is the killer of all relationships? Pride. Pride kills all relationships. It kills care, it kills sacrifice, it kills kindness, it kills the supreme virtue of all virtues, humility. Only humble people love. That's why Proverbs 8.13 says, Pride and arrogance I hate, says the Lord. Proverbs 11.2 says, When pride comes, then comes dishonor. It does the opposite. You notice that? When pride comes, then comes dishonor. Pride doesn't honor you, it dishonors you. Proverbs 13, 10 says, through pride comes strife, because it destroys relationships. Proverbs 16, 18, pride goes before destruction. Proverbs 29, 23, a man's pride shall bring him low. And then it says, honor belongs to the humble. James and Peter both said in the New Testament, God exalts the humble and abases the proud. Only humble people love. Only humble people build meaningful relationships. We, we have a, a total society consumed with people chasing their own personal exaltation and elevation.